We're here today with Captain Lindsay Vigna of Animal Law Enforcement talking about the importance of microchips and other ways to enable your pets to be quickly identified. So Lindsay, can you start by telling us what exactly a microchip is? Sure. Uh, a microchip is just an identifying chip um, that's placed underneath the skin of an animal. Uh, it's actually no bigger than a grain of rice. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a more permanent way of identifying, identifying your pet. Why do you think microchipping is important? Well, it is important because pets, as we know, are very mischievous and they have a tendency to get into, uh, get into things or wander around. And at times, the collars that people use um, have a tendency to fall off um, or get loose from the animal. And so the microchip is just another sure way that pet owners can be sure that um, if the animal is found, whether it be a vet clinic or by one of our officers, that it's able to be tracked. Great. And why do we microchip every animal that we adopt out of the shelter? Well, it's important once again because the animals that are leaving our facility, we want to make sure that we're uh, setting them up for success so that if they are picked up again, uh, we are able to find their owners and get them back home. Are microchips the best way to identify or do they have any types of flaws? Are, are they the end all be all? No, not necessarily. I mean, microchips are wonderful. It's just kind of like another tool for pet owners. Um, but the downfall to microchips is that they do, uh, over time, they do have a tendency to migrate through the animal's body. And so typically when the chip is implanted, it's, it's kind of behind the, in between the shoulder blades. Um, and at times the, the chip can migrate and move um, we've actually had animals that we've scanned and the chip is, is closer to their leg. And so um, it's not always in the same place where it was implanted. Do you scan for a microchip on every animal? We do. Uh, we scan uh, every animal for a microchip. Um, actually, the animals here at the Humane Society are scanned several times throughout their stay with us. Um, our officers in the field are equipped with microchip scanners as well. And so, you know, if we're able to find, uh, scan the chip and find the chip, we're able to get the animal back home. Do you have any other tips and tricks for making sure your animal can be easily identified? You know, I always recommend, not, uh, of course, not only microchipping, but making sure that your animal has a secure collar. Um, and over time, sometimes those collars tend to get worn out. So just periodically check um, the sturdiness of, of your animal's collar. Uh, make sure that the tags are up to date. Um, they are required to have not only a rabies tag, but a license tag attached to the collar. Um, I know sometimes people complain about the sound that the tags make uh, when they're clinging against one another. And, and I just recommend putting a small piece of tape over the tags. That'll certainly help with the sound. Um, and it'll also secure the tags. Wonderful. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, uh, I mean, we just, we thank you all for being responsible pet owners um, and using the microchip, um, not as the sole means of identifying your animal, but just as another tool for pet owners. Thank you so much. Thank you.